Hey kids, welcome. Hey chapter four fans. This is your fear. Oh my leader. Gosh. We're gonna talk Hold about on. It. Sorry guys. I don't know what happened. This needs to go back. So you could Oh my god, people! Why? Why? Why can't I see the bottom? What is all this? Hello! Who are these people? Alright, let's try this one. Oh boy. Okay. I'm just doing this so you guys can see a little recording I made. I'm just going to separate out. We're going to do a little overview of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. This is chapter four. So yeah, let's listen to this. And then I'm going to stop it right before we talk about enzymes. Okay? Okay? Okay. Thank you. Yay. Okay, here we go. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration. What the heck is that? Well, here you go. All cells must have energy, right? Otherwise, we can't do anything. We'd just be dead. Photosynthesis. What's the real definition? Get energy from the sun. Hmm. Hmm. Sunlight energy, photons, yay sun, to create carbs. I'm such a dork. What do we mean by carbs? Sugar, right? Ooh, really, sugar. specifically the type of sugar called glucose. We'll get back to that. Okay, goodbye for right now. What the heck is cellular respiration? So when we take sugar and we break it into the energy we need for cellular use, the only kind of energy our cells can use is called ATP. That's a little foreshadowing. We're going to get to that in a few slides. So hold tight. Oh, look, it's an overview. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration. It's an overview. There, it's like a big circle. Sunlight plus CO2 and H2O, that has to come into the system, into the little plant guy, or algae, anything that can do photosynthesis, a few types of bacteria, but I digress. CO2, H2O, CO2, carbon dioxide from the air, water, it might rain, there might be humidity, whatever, comes in, plant uses that, mix it up with some sunlight, and guess what? Pow, make some sugar, and pow, give off some oxygen, woohoo! Yay, plants! So, plants have stored that sugar, they get rid of that oxygen, put it into the air, yay plants, we need that stuff. Well, sugar we can't use directly. We have to turn it into that cellular energy. Remember that ATP stuff? And the plants can't use it as a regular sugar either. So everybody, plants and little animal guys, that's us, have to take that sugar and break it down and turn it into something else that's useful energy, like ATP. So in the plant, that all happens. It made its own sugar, released that oxygen, decides, hey, I'm going to make some ATP. Does that through cellular respiration. Now, if you're an animal, we didn't do photosynthesis. So we didn't make any sugar. So how do we get our sugar? Hey, we got to eat that guy. So we eat the guy that made the sugar, the photosynthesis guy, or we eat the guy that ate the guy, or we eat the guy that ate the guy that ate the guy. Whatever. We get the sugar somehow. And then, if we break it down, bust up that sugar back into carbon dioxide and water. And in the meantime, we make our good friend ATP, and then we can do lots of work, and we're happy. So here's a little demo. How can we use these figure questions to help us study? Well, let's take a looky look. Here we go. Question one. Why is photosynthesis called primary production? Well, primary means first, right? And production means to produce something or to make it. So first make. <laughs> what are we first making? What could we guess? Hmm. Well, that's a pretty good guess. Our good friend Sugar. Yay! You guys are so smart. 
Okay, question two. How does animal life depend on photosynthesis? Hmm. Well, what did we say before? This guy and us, can we do photosynthesis? No. So where the hell, are, where the heck are we going to get our sugar? Plants can do it all themselves, right? They make sugar, break it down, boom, self-sufficient. Are we self-sufficient? No. We need photosynthesis to make us sugar from the sun. That's crazy. The sun and a plant turns carbon dioxide gas and some water into freaking sugar. Come on, that is awesome. Okay, whatever. You need sugar, you gotta eat. So you should appreciate it on some level, even if it's not super nerdy. And here's our next question. How are photosynthesis and cellular respiration, sorry, typo, complementary processes? Hmm, what does complementary mean? Hmm, to complement each other. What does that mean? <laughs> to complete each other. Oh, fascinating. That's good. <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Evil, for joining us for this little tutorial. And, of course, Minnie Me as well. Nice, guys. Thanks for coming by. Yes, they complete each other. It's a big old circle. Look, we even drew it like a big old circle. What goes in comes out, and we keep sending it around and around and around. CO2, water in, sugar, O2 out. Take in sugar and O2, make CO2 and water, put it back in. Oh, don't forget sun. They're complementary. They work together. Oh, right? We need that oxygen from the plants. The plants need that CO2 from us. What do we exhale? It's not very easy to read. We exhale carbon dioxide. That's our waste product. The waste product of cellular respiration is CO2. What is the waste product of photosynthesis? <coughs> oh, O2. Plants and animals, complementary. We complete each other. Oh, stop, stop, right. everybody stop Personal. right here. That's it. That's the end of our overview. And you're gonna get another video for your overview of this stuff. So now I gotta remember how I get back. Oh, yeah, right here. I gotta click over here and stop recording. So thank you for listening. And I hope you learned a whole lot of fun stuff. Okay, bye. See you next time.